guys so today I am finally filming a video because oh my god I had like five videos to upload well yeah five and I thought I would just edit them and upload them any day and whatever but it turns out that my camera records my voice very very quietly which as a result turned out that the videos were so quiet even when I edited them and turned up the maximum volume they still were so freaking quiet you have no idea so you can barely hear me and I'm and some of these videos took a while to film and I really wanted to upload them so I think maybe for most quiet ones I'm going to do a voiceover or something it would look super weird but I uh, that's at, at least I could do and since I don't really want to film these because one of them was first impression video so I can't really like redo that one that won't be like the first reaction or something so that's kind of sad and well yeah I will see what I can do and if I fix it I will definitely upload it Okay, so this time I'm doing a haul and uh, this is actually my first haul on this channel and my first haul ever on YouTube, which is quite exciting. Last weekend I was away to the city called Vilnius, which is the capital of Lithuania and um, I've been there because I had, I had to take my IELTS exam. So um, I've been to Vilnius for two days, well first day I went to us on Thursday and the next day I went to us on Saturday. So I bought, so both of these times I bought some things and I'm going to show you, first of all I'm going to show you things I bought on Saturday because I went to Lush and H&M and, uh, uh, and on Thursday I, I went to the strip shop and yeah, so let's keep it for later <laughs> okay so first of all uh, lash okay i've been wanting to go to the shop for such a long time because i've seen all the um bath bombs and uh, and hair care products and other amazing stuff all over instagram and just internet and i really really liked them and i thought oh maybe i should buy something too and i went to lash on a uh, saturday I kind of was a bit disappointed I think because my prices were higher than I expected them to be but uh, I still managed to buy one item which I really wanted to buy and this item was quite pricey but uh, it's uh, well it's a hair care product and when it comes to hair I'm obsessed with hair care I literally buy anything that comes to hair care so I've got an item which I've been hearing a lot about mostly good stuff so I thought why not try it out myself and it is the Lush uh, R&B hair moisturizer it looks like this uh, it's actually a really small pot and it was, I have a receipt here, it was uh, 15 euros 65 cents, so almost 16 euros, which is really pricey for this amount of product. But the girl at Lush said that uh, this, kind of, this amount of product will last me at least a few months. Basically, you just, um, if you open it up, if the product kind of looks like um not sure you can see it looks very um buttery um i don't know it smells very good it's actually a really weird smell to be honest but i kind of like it so you're supposed to take a teeny tiny bit of a product uh, put it on your fingertips and just like rub it and just uh, put it on the ends of your hair because if you have a dry hair this will be perfect and my hair is so dry it's like a desert so I'm really looking forward to using this product because I, re I really hope it will make some kind of revolution or something because uh, according to the, all the comments that I've read uh, this product basically made that to other people so I don't know we will see and I, what I also really like about it is the all the ingredients coconut oil oh I thought it smells like coconuts a bit um yeah oil oil lots of oils so this should be really good but yeah 
I put many hopes and money into this, so you better be good, okay? <laughs> Alright, so next top I went to was H&M and I took tons of crop tops to the fitting room, but basically later on when I put them on, half of them didn't even fit, um, one was like alright, but I didn't really like how it looked on me after all, so I turned out to pick this um, jacket and one shirt, but later on I changed my mind and didn't buy that shirt because it was just plain black crop top, uh, short sleeves, and I don't know, maybe I'll buy it another time because I have like sec some second thoughts and it was only um, about 5 euros. So it was like so freaking cheap. But I've got this um, jacket, it's fox fur jacket and it's white and it's super cute. And I already wore it yesterday. It's long, it looks like this, super long as you can see. Um, It has pockets which is really good and yeah i really love it it's so soft and everything it was 25 euros also i size up mine is small and this is large but it looks really good so whatever okay i'm pretty sure the sun is gone eh? so the lighting is pretty much perfect now okay now let's move on what i forgot on thursday and i went to the strip shop which which again I wanted to go uh, to for a long time because I've heard so many good things about it and I've actually been there once but I didn't buy anything I just looked around that's all and I went there another time but the moment I walked in the, the girl came and said we are closing I'm sorry so I was like oh come on <laughs> and um, yeah so this time I went there and I ended up picking up two items and I'm really glad I've got these because they are so amazing and they were so super cheap. So first of all is this wonderful skirt. Okay, so my cousin has the skirt from H&M, the same color as this one. And it's like um chiffon skirt and it's short, but it's so pretty and she lent it to me a few times and I loved it and I wanted to buy the similar skirt but when I went to H&M they were sold out and uh, when I went to London I think it was in October yeah it was that time and I saw that skirt on sale somewhere and it was like 10 sizes bigger than my sizes so I couldn't buy it and I kept looking for a similar skirt because I love how it looks on me it matches uh, most of my clothes and I and I found this lovely skirt in, in the strip shop and I had to buy it so it looks like this. It's actually about that longer than my cousin's skirt was. And that one was pretty short so it looks alright. It, 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 the skirt is above the knee so I don't look like an old lady after all. So it looks like this. This is the front. It's actually very weird. Um, as you can see, um, it has some nice um, bell detail here, and it looks like this. And the back, if you flip it, well, my cousin's skirt looked like this, exactly like this, yeah. So this one is in different material, and yeah. Um, so it's actually, um, if you want to put it on, it it puts on in a really weird way so um you have to like um untie the belt so untie the belt whatever and you just like do that and and then this is and just pop this pop this what i'm talking and you have like pretty scared and you just like wrap it around um the button and then the belt, do the belt, I'm not gonna do the belt right and you're just like lovely so uh, whenever I wear like short a jacket or I actually wear, wore this only twice yet but both of the times I wore it with some crop tops so uh, um and since I was wearing jackets uh, I wore it with the side in front but if uh, if I wear short jackets, I would wear this 
um, belt side and front because it's actually oh my god I messed it all up ouch okay this is actually a front side but you can wear it whatever way you want so it doesn't really matter okay next item I've got it's actually a military camo jacket and I wanted a jacket like that for such a long time oh my god you have no idea okay why I'm speaking so fast <laughs> why I'm speaking so fast I probably because I'm excited well I've literally been obsessed to find the perfect camo jacket for oh my god a year or so and I literally um, tried on every single jacket I could find anywhere but all of those looked awful on me and when I found this one it's actually wow it looked well it didn't look perfect as I wanted to look like but it looked kind of alright, so I had to grab it. The skirt was 5 and this was 13. And it looks like this. It's quite long. It's oversized. It's from men's section. So it's big, but it's not that big. I'm, I'm not drowning in it. So that's good. And it has this weird logo on the back, and I'm not sure what it means. I've Googled it, but it just didn't give any answer, so that's weird. Um, yeah. It's pretty much like that. And, okay. One thing I don't like about it, it doesn't have any pockets. Like, why? Why would you do that to me? Why? I'm showing the next item I've got just because it actually has fun story behind it. So, um, I kind of always think that showing these kind of items on whole videos or just videos as a whole. Okay, that sounded sorry. Um, it's kind of again bizarre weird whatever but it i actually got an old issue of id magazine um in this one bookshop because they sell uh, all the new magazines this was cheaper than new one and i oh, and i already ordered the new one even uh, the new issue and it should arrive either this week or next week i don't know so i'm only showing you this because it's so funny um i like i like when the shop grabbed the magazine i went to pay for it and after the girl took my money she was like oh you know we we sometimes pick a lucky um buyer of the day so she said um okay let it be you and I was like, all right, all right, so what? And she asked me if, you, if she could take a picture of me holding a magazine. And I said, yeah, sure, fine. And I turned out to look a bit weird because I was like a bit disturbed. She asked me such a thing because later on when she took a photo, she said she will upload it. it she will upload the picture to their the bookshop's Facebook page and also Instagram. So I was like, all right. But, um, yeah, that was kind of funny because, I don't know, it kind of made me blush and laugh a bit. And look, his back sends back and it's on my face right now. Yay. Please stop. Thank you. No, it's not shining. Oh, well. So, okay, um, moving on. Um, it's actually going to be the last item, I think. Is it? Yes. So you're going to call me weird just for again showing you weird items that don't even belong in the whole but um, I'm that kind of person who just shows weird stuff in my hole so get ready and enjoy it. Okay so I went to Marks and Spencer's yay, and I've got some delicious food and I'm about to show you some food that I like half Eight, and that's kind of even more bizarre okay sound please don't shine on my eye look look just just why would you do that oh come on okay so first of I picked up this um, watermelon and coconut white tea it was so pretty it was like um, okay yeah as you can see I drank half of it sorry but it was so cute and pink and it's so delicious it's actually very cool because I put it in my uh, fridge and it, since it's very hot I've been drinking this like all day since I was back to from school so I am loving this a lot it's so good actually Max and Spencer has really weird uh, iced teas 
uh, flavors and I'm really and I really want to try all of those because this one was so so good it's actually when you open it up it smelled like coconut at first when you smell it more you can okay I'm talking to my brother you can also smell like a little hint of watermelon okay this is not all right why oh god show must go on okay it's, it's so awful all right so um we can smell a hit a little hint of a watermelon and when you drink it oh i didn't close it properly okay when you drink it it's like you taste the bad watermelon first and then you it comes the coconut but again the flavor is kind of mixed so it's really perfect and i really like it and i don't remember there was this one flavor that i also really like but i don't remember what, what was it so you can't really tell you um okay next food food <laughs> more of the sweets i've got it it was written that it's new and it's actually only like two of them left it's um fruit gums by mark spencer and they are delicious oh my god it's like apple pi pineapple um passion passion fruit um pink grapefruit flavor so and these are adorable they are so good okay uh, moving on next um candy okay why sunshine oh my god look oh next um candy i bought is um called dolly mixtures and it looks like this so they can see basically all of the candy i eat all my candy almost um these are very cute and very tasty they're all of that each of the color has different flavor and i really like these uh, i'm not buying these for the first time it's actually my second time yeah the second time i'm buying these and they are so lovely i really like it and uh, the first time i bought it they were on sale and this time they weren't on sale and i was like oh come on just let me save some money but yeah whatever i still bought them and uh, um actually i don't want to eat them all because they're so good and i know that after i eat them i would want more look the sun is gone for a while okay okay say hello who's back back again say who's back back for more is that the lyrics i don't know <laughs> um the sun is back and it's getting on my nerves but because my i ran out of my memory so i had to like go quickly switch on okay vice reflections of sun get, getting in my face um i had to run to my computer to transfer the videos delete the ones that i filmed uh, so far and it just get start all over and oh not really all over just continue filming actually and the sun came back with more prettiness continue where i was talking about that dolly mixtures max marks and spencer's candy so i'm really 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 sad because i the moment i will run out of these i know that i won't be able to get them for at least like month or weeks i don't know if the next time i will go to wellness i would only be able to buy it but because there is no max expenses in my city as well as there is no h&m in my city as well as there is no lush in my city so basically where the fuck do i live and it is called the second biggest city in lafania so what the actual fudge really people what what why why would you do that to me so i guess that's pretty much all of it of the whole if it was a whole mostly mean a whole um but yeah so i hope we will see each other soon and um don't forget to like um comment subscribe as always and see you next time bye